Hey guys, Corey here. Today I'm going to show you a Town Hall 12 that took out this Town Hall 13. And we're going to play a quick game. Going to be a short video. Only two attacks. Game is Guess the Attack. Now I can tell you right now, at least 9 out of 10 of you guys, maybe more, are going to get this wrong. Because I never would have guessed the attack that he's going to use on this base. He did 6 packs, so we'll go look at his other attack. See if we can get a hint from it. All right, guys, here we got Gunjal's first attack on a, kind of an underdeveloped Town Hall 12 here. And it looks like he's going to be using Pekka Bobat for this one. Um, but I'll give you guys a hint. He's he's not using Pekka Bobat on the other one. I wasn't going to give you a hint, but then I was like, ah, I'll give you a hint. It was, uh, honestly, it blew me away the attack that he used for one simple reason. It, it's not like some maxed out Town Hall 13. And the reason for that is simple. Town Hall 13 at this point has only been out a couple weeks. So there's very, very, very few maxed out or even close Town Hall 13s in the game at this point. But the thing that impressed me the most was the fact that, that base had both scatter shots drop. Now, if you're not a Town Hall 13 and you don't know yet, if you haven't faced scatter shots yet, those are an absolutely devastating defense doing like 150 plus DPS in splash damage per hit with a pretty large range on them. They can make troops disappear, all right? Groups of hogs, groups of loons, groups of bowlers, groups of miners, you name it, you end up eating a scatter shot and you're not at full health. Your troops are pretty much gone. It is a devastating defense. And that is why the attack that he used on that base just really shocked me not only the attack that he used but the fact that he crushed it so hard with this attack just really blew me away extremely extremely impressive and uh we're gonna be checking it out here in just a few short minutes this was an easy layup of a pekka bobat for gunjaw here um this next base is gonna be quite a bit more of a challenge for him we're gonna times for it just so we don't have to watch all the cleanup we know this base is crushed he's got a whole army left he's got all his bats left now it's time, let's go check out the Town Hall 12 versus Town Hall 13 triple. Hold on for just one moment, guys. I gotta tell you something really important. WHF slash Tribe Gaming Family is in need of Town Hall 12s right now. So if that's you, if you got a maxed account and mad skills, apply in our Discord server. The link is in the description of this video. All right, guys, here we go. Believe it or not, he's using a queen charge Lava Loon on a Town Hall 13 that has both scatter shots drop. Wild, wild stuff. Obviously going to execute this plan very well and obviously a very good plan as well because there's just not any room for error for him on this as a Town Hall 12 hitting this Town Hall 13. Uh, King's down on the right hand side to get that side of the funnel established. Has to pop the King early because the Royal Champion plus three point defense and we're wearing through that King really quickly. Um, Baby Dragon on the left is going to nail on that side of a funnel taking out that Archer Tower and then going in to help the Queen speed up her charge a little bit with the last few breaths of its life. We got that jump spell coming in and I really, really love this entry right here. That jump spell is going to grant that Queen access to so much value. She's eating scatter shot shots right now along with an expo those raged up healers are keeping her alive but every time that scatter shot drops it's putting a big huge dent in that queen's health look at that look at that that's with raged up healers that's how much damage that scatter shot does and it's splash damage too imagine that landing on a group of your hogs oh it's devastating or loons for that matter queen's gonna step up grab the town hall and the enemy queen oh my gosh and the eagle artillery this was a beautiful plan this charge is getting so much value one of those scatter shots is already down and even though Gunjal had to chew through a hound in that cc under all that damage still managed to save the queen ability for this encounter with that enemy archer queen now as soon as that eagle artillery goes down lalo is going to start gonna lead it in with a stone slammer on the right hand side which is a beautiful call because there's no air defenses in the immediate area and that scatter shot is being tanked by the queen that is absolutely essential because like i said it'll make your loons disappear really really fast i love the call starting the lalo right on that scatter shot trying to get it down 
nice and early. We got a freeze coming down on that multi-target inferno because that thing's upgraded to town all 13 level as well. And that's another massive amount of damage to a group of loons coming in there. And we got another freeze coming down on the next multi-target inferno. We've got one haste spell left still has a grand warden ability gonna pop it right there going into this multi-target inferno look how many loons gunjol has left on this one we got a whole tesla farm to chew through on the back side but he's got like i don't even know i don't even know how many loons he's got he's probably got 25 loons right there he's got a ton of loons it's gonna be more than enough to take out this tesla farm unless they were to run into like a triple red bomb something along those lines so there you guys go i uh, hope you enjoyed the video let me know if you appreciated me keeping it a little bit uh, shorter sometimes you know the youtube algorithm can punish that sort of thing but I, I don't feel the need to put in a ton of fluff in there when you guys are obviously just here to see the town hall 12 versus town hall 13 triple so on your screen should be some other links for you guys to click on to see another video i appreciate you hanging out with me in the middle should be a button to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you soon